Convicted murderer is one day closer to hearing her new fate. The case dating back to 1997, when 15 year old Rebecca Falcon shot and killed a taxi cab driver. News 13's Kayla Tucker reports from the courtroom and tells how trouble started years before the trigger was pulled. August 1997, a taxi driver named Richard Phillips picked up a fare late one night and was killed moments later. The persons responsible, 15-year-old Rebecca Falcon and 18-year-old Clifton Gilchrist. They're both sentenced to life in prison without parole, but a United States Supreme Court case is giving Falcon a new sentence. On Monday in court, her family members explained the type of life Falcon was dealt. Falcon moved to Panama City from Kansas in 97. Her grandmother says it was to get her away from a 20-year-old boyfriend. He was not in school when she was, in, and then she got attached to him, and we didn't want uh, around him. Another person Falcon was able to get away from, her stepfather, who reportedly sexually abused her. Not till after things happened, and maybe a few years after that I started hearing about incidents of sexual abuse and things like that. I didn't know about the drug abuse. I didn't know about the alcoholism. He says the last time he saw his daughter outside of jail was just months before the murder, but knew something was off. She had cigarettes, and she was a 15-year-old kid, and she had cigarettes. Falcon was also drinking as she was able to get her mother to buy her alcohol. Cropper says, though, Falcon didn't do that while in Panama City, except for the night she killed Phillips. She got into some whiskey that was in the house and drank it. Also in court, many individuals testified to how well Falcon has done in her 22 years of prison. A mature, respectful, a woman that it, it is wise now. Um, she's trusted, trustworthy. Um, I can't say enough good things about her. The proceedings will continue Tuesday morning. In Panama City, Kayla Tucker, News 13, Panhandle Strong.